In this lesson, we're going to cover how you can create new pages rapidly inside of Flowtion. And this is really where it starts to feel like you have Notion superpowers. So we're going to do so in three steps. We are going to spawn a new page and talk through what exactly is going on there. Next, we're going to rapidly spawn several pages. And finally, we're going to discuss how you can drag and manipulate pages inside of the Flotion menu so that you can stay organized and on track as you're building out your workspaces. Creating a new page inside of a flow is really as simple as hitting this new page template button. When you do so, the Flotion editor will take you to that new page, which will also have the synced menu uh, embedded inside of it, along with all of the layout components forecasting assets and embeds that you need to start building in this fresh page. Now, because Flotion is native to Notion, you can, of course, always create new pages by simply hitting slash and page. But when you do so, this is not going to be a Flotion specific page. It will take you to a regular blank page as Notion typically does. So that would be the normal process for creating a new page inside of Notion. As we've just seen, to create a new page inside of Flotion with the editor and all of the components that you need already embedded inside of a handy side menu, you can hit this new page icon. Next, we'll cover how you can create multiple pages rapidly. And there's nothing fancy to it. Really, it's just a matter of clicking several times before the before Notion takes you to this new page generator. So sometimes if you are planning out your workspace, so we might have the plan. And from here, we might have several pages that we want to create. And instead of needing to wait for the new page to take us there and navigate back to this button, we can really just hit this button three or four or five times and all of those pages will generate for us. We can, of course, then rename these pages to what we have in our plan. And you can see that very quickly, we already have our side menu coming together. Each of these pages will, of course, be unique and their own, and we can fill it with the components and content that we need to build out our workspace. Thirdly, we are going to discuss how you can organize this menu and what exactly um, is going on when you do move things from different pages uh, inside of this side menu. So a good practice to keep is to select your pages and drag them into this section, which is simply boarded off by two divider lines. You can delete the instruction once you've started placing your pages there. That way we have our map separate, we have our new page generator separate, and we have our actual live pages and items in this menu here. If I go over to this new page, and we could give it a, another name like meetings, you can see that as I type here, the, the menu itself is updating because this page is directly linked to um, the, the title of itself here. If I head to this page, uh, you can also edit it to be, what do we say, our lists. And you'll notice that no matter where we go in our workspace, our menu is synced up to be dynamically changing. So I can make changes that I want to here. I can also drag and drop components from one page to another by using the menu itself. So let's say I accidentally created my content calendar on this page, which was intended for contacts. I could of course create another component for the content calendar on this content page, or I can also simply drag this into my content page from the menu and that calendar will appear at the bottom of the page as such. Using the menu and our new pages, we can rapidly navigate around our new flows and workspaces. So just to recap, you can rapidly generate new pages by hitting 
this new page template button. And if you want to spawn multiple, simply quickly tap the button and you can rename your pages from any place inside of your flow.